Hi everyone, welcome back to Kelly Renee Every Day, where I am dedicated to teaching you the fundamentals of so today I have a project for you that is a variation on our washcloth. Now, um, a great place to start is always going to be kind of one of those projects that um, is useful, is going to um, you know give you kind of quick results, especially in the beginning here to keep you motivated. And what I love about this washcloth is it uses this beautiful stitch at you, that is going to be a combination of two foundational stitches that we've already learned. So it's going to be the half double crochet and the slip stitch. And I call it the up down stitch stitch. Um, we're gonna kind of see it as we work the rows that we kind of see this going up and down because of the two different heights. But we see these diagonal lines that come in and create this, I'm gonna kind of move it around here, create this beautiful texture. So, um, so it's kind of like it's a it's an updated if you would uh, washcloth and it gives a beautiful te uh, texture they're great for gifts because not only are they useful but it's really beautiful now the size of this washcloth is about seven and a half inches wide by about seven and a half inches long okay and so i'm going to get us started on the first couple rows here so you can see how it's worked but then you would continue um, for whatever size washcloth you want. I like to have my washcloths about the size of my hand. It's just a good fit for, um, you know, the kitchen and the, the things that we want to do. When we add water, they are going to expand a little bit. When you wash and dry them, they'll kind of come back to their shape. So the supplies that we need are going to be 100% cotton. I have here Lily Brand Sugar and Cream. This is a number four uh, worsted weight yarn. It suggests here a five millimeter hook, but I am actually gonna choose a little bit larger hook so that I have a little bit lo uh, looser stitch. And I'll explain that when we kind of go through things. So I'm actually using a five and a half. I really like the Susan Bates hooks. I have um, links uh, to these hooks down in the in the um, description of this video. And um, the reason I like them is they tend to split yarn less. And I've used them for a number of different yarns, cotton, um, acrylic, wool, and I just find that they work really, really well. So I've been really liking these. I did buy myself a set that um, you know starts off at three and three quarter millimeters and goes up to a six and a half. So I happen to be pulling this one out of that. Um, the shafts are aluminum, so I really like those as well. So, um, so Susan Bates, I would I would recommend those. And again, there's there's links down in the in the description if you need to. Um, this is basically just a scissors and a and a, a darning needle so that we can uh, put the ends, you know, weave in the ends at the end. So let's um, kind of get started here. So the um, the pattern that I have on my blog at KellyReneeEveryday.com is going to give you instructions that we are going to do 27 chains on our foundational chain. So we're gonna get started there, and then we're gonna work a row of single crochets back, and then we're going to start in with the alternating half double crochet and slip stitch, okay? So let me kind of you know get you started here. So since this is a beginner video, that's really the perspective that I'm taking that you are in the beginning stages. So let's just create um, a slip knot first and I take two fingers and I, I kind of grab the length of a tail about as long as my hand, my other hand, and I'm going to wrap it around, kind of bring over, wrap around one and a half, and then I'm gonna bring up this loop in the back, okay, between. And that's what I'm gonna stick my hook through. And when I do that, I'm gonna bring these fingers back out, and now I'm gonna have these two tails, I'm gonna pull, and then the, the free tail, I'm actually gonna pull until it's snug up on the barrel, the larger part of my hook, okay? Now, if you need some help with that, I will have the um, videos specifically for getting your yarn on the hook and the chain stitches, but we'll do a little bit of a review here, but if you need some extra practice, those videos will be down below for you. So now that I've got my yarn on my, on my hook, I'm now going to chain 27 chains. So the chain is just gonna be um, yarning over and pulling through each one of those loops on your hook. Making sure that you bring your diameter of your yarn, your loop back to the larger part because that sets the diameter 
for it. If you keep it here, you're going to get real tight chains and even it's going to be hard to pull through. So always bring it back up to that largest part of the barrel. So yarn over, pull it through and, and keep these a little bit looser. Some people will even chain with a larger hook so that they don't get that base chain, that foundation chain too, too tight. Okay. So I'm going to kind of move along here. I'm going to have to count because I didn't kind of lost count here, but maybe that's good. Okay. <laughs> so let me, let me see where I'm at. I'm going to kind of lay my chain out here and we are going to, maybe we'll zoom in a little bit and see a little bit closer my chain and we'll count these. Okay. So when I look at my chain, notice that it's a series of, I think they kind of look like braids, but they're V's. Okay. And they're referred to that in, in crochet. So we're going to start here with this first one. We're going to start at the base of the V one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. we never count the, the loop. So that's 17 chains that I've created. So now this is going to be 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26. Okay. All right. Got kind of a little thing going here. Oh, one more 27, right? I need 26 stitches on each one of my rows. So I need 27 chains. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn and we are going to do a single crochet foundational first row. Okay. So I'm going to get around here. Now to start my single crochet, I am going to crochet in not the one. So when your loop comes up through, that's the first, that's the first chain. Okay. We're going to go in the second chain from my, from my hook. So I'm going to, I'm going to just go directly in. This is a single crochet yarn over, pull through, pull up two loops, and now I'm going to yarn over and pull through. So I'm going to continue to do that straight in, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through, go in, yarn over, pull up that loop, yarn over and pull through. And I'm going to continue single crochets all the way across. So the reason I'm doing a single crochet all the way across here is because I like to start because this, this particular combination of the two stitches creates this up and down effect. Okay. And on my base row, I just want that to be, where's my, where's my loop here on this one? There it is. Um, I just want the row to, to be nice and even so that when I start then with the combination of the two, the slip stitch and the half double crochet, that it's easier to see the stitch that I'm going into. Okay. And, and you'll kind of see that effect. So again, I'm kind of, um, just kind of going single crochets all the way across. Now, because I chained 27 and I went into the second chain from my hook, my row is going to have 26 stitches in each row. Okay. So, um, so we'll count when we get done with this row to be sure we have the 26. Now we need an even number of stitches. So if you wanted to make this wider or narrower, just make sure that your combination of the number of stitches on your chain is going to be is going to be odd, an odd number, because when you turn and you, you create the single crochet, you'll have one less stitch so that your final number of stitches in your row is an even number of stitches. Okay. And I'm going in this very last one right by that slip knot. And now this I've, I've put a single crochet in each one of those chains. So again, my chain was 27. I turned, so I turned here and then this row should have 26 stitches on it. Let's check. Now to count my stitches, this is kind of it laying on its side, but at the top of my, of my stitch, that's where I'm going to see that V. So this is a single crochet in each one. And the top of that, of that stitch is going to be the V's. 
So starting where I ended my row, I do not count the loop, okay, that I pulled out of, but now I'm gonna count each one of these V's at the top. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And my last 26 is coming up on the corner here. And that always happens. It It's kind of like making the corner, but it is a full V here. So that's my last stitch. So I will be stitching in that very last one when we get to the end of that row, okay? So now I'm ready to go to my second row, which is going to start the combination of the half double crochet and the slip stitch. So now, because I'm going to start with my first stitch on the next row to be a half double crochet, I'm going to chain two to set the height, and then I'm going to turn. So one, two, I'm going to turn, okay? And now I am going to start my half double crochet in the base, that first stitch, okay? which was the last single crochet I created in that row. I'm gonna go into the bottom here. You can kind of see where I'm going in on the side, but then from the top, I'm going underneath both Vs, okay? So I'm gonna go back in here, all right? I'm gonna yarn over, because this is gonna be a half double crochet. I'm gonna go into or underneath those Vs, underneath the stitch. I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna pull up a loop. I'm gonna have my three on and then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Now, that was my half double crochet, so my next stitch in the combination here is gonna be a slip stitch. The slip stitch is super short and super easy. I'm gonna go into that next stitch underneath those two Vs, just like I did for the half double crochet, but I don't yarn over, okay, on, before I go in. I go straight in. So I've got my loop, I'm gonna go straight in, I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna pull that through, and I'm not gonna stop there, I'm gonna pull through the loop on my hook. Kinda of cool, huh? It was a quick one. So it's a, it's a short little stitch. I'm gonna yarn over, now I'm gonna do my half double crochet. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up that loop, yarn over, and pull through, okay? Okay, I'm gonna get set here again. My next stitch, this was the half double crochet, so my next one is a slip stitch. So I'm going directly in. So I'm gonna take my, my hook off here, and I look at the top, here is my next V. I'm gonna go underneath both of those, okay? So I'm going into the stitch there, and I'm going directly in. Remember my slip stitch, there's no yarn over. I go directly in, I go directly in. Now I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna pull it through and through again, all right? <laughs> it's a quickie. Yarn over for my half double crochet, three on, yarn over and pull through. I like this little knot coming up. Next one is gonna be the slip stitch. Go back in directly, pull through and keep going, pull through the loop on your hook. Yarn over for the half double crochet, three on, yarn over, pull through. Slip stitch next, go directly in, Yarn over, pull through, and keep going, pull through what's on your hook. Yarn over, go in, here's my half double crochet. The next one is our slip stitch. Directly in, yarn over, pull through, keep going, pull through the loop on your hook. Yarn over for the half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through all three. Oh. The next one, I just did a half double crochet, so now it's gonna be the slip stitch in, pull through, and all the way through. Yarn over for the half double crochet, pull through, three on, yarn over, pull through all three. Slip stitch, directly in, yarn over, pull through, keep going, pull through. Half double crochet, yarn over, go in, yarn over, three on, yarn over, pull all the way through. Slip stitch, go in, yarn over, pull through and keep going and pull through that hook, that uh, loop on your hook. Half double crochet, yarn over, go in and all the way through. That darn yarn here. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get a knot. 
Then I'm going to slip stitch in and pull through and all the way through. Half double crochet and slip stitch. Half double crochet and slip stitch. This is such a fun one to work and, and it is because it's not hard to keep track <laughs> and we're going to see as we turn the corner here it's actually really easy to keep track and um, and it also just is pretty okay so we're coming up to our last two stitches on this row okay so I've got one here and then I've got that one that's coming up around the corner so I just did a slip stitch I'm going to do a half double crochet okay and my last one needs to be a slip stitch now here is where I'm going to loosen up things here a little bit on this very last one because that slip stitch is a short little stitch if we make it too tight we're not going to be able to when we turn get our, our uh, needle in there that's where these Susan Bates also work nicely they've got a really nice point on them but I'm going to do myself a favor and keep this real loose so I'm going to go in directly okay I'm going to go in underneath both V's I'm going to pull up and I'm going to keep this real loose so this is even bigger than what the diameter of my barrel is okay and I'm going to pull it through all right and just keep it real loose <laughs> can't emphasize that enough so now I'm going to be turning and my first stitch that's going to go right back into that base there is going to be a half double crochet so I need to chain two for the height of that half double crochet so I'm going to go one two I'm going to turn and right into that base and it's actually it's actually um, tipped down a little bit and kind of at a, at a diagonal that is where I'm going to be going right underneath there with my half double crochet so I'm going to half double crochet yarn over go in pull through I've got three on and then I'm going to yarn over and pull all the way through okay that's my first half double crochet so then I'm going to be doing my slip stitch slip stitch is next go in yarn over pull through and go through what's on your hook so it's directly through half double crochet yarn over go in pull up three yarn over and all the way through now let's kind of look at what this looks like in the row now okay you'll understand why I call it the up down so you'll notice that as we look down look along here we have this up down up down up down and that's because of the two heights of the stitches the half double crochet is much taller than the slip stitch and that's what creates the up and down so what I find is is we just did our half double crochet so that means the slip stitches are going to go in the downs okay and the half double crochets are going to go in the ups okay so now as I as I just kind of look oh this one's going down that's going to be a slip stitch slip stitch goes in yarn over pull through and pull right through that that loop that was on my hook yarn over for my half double crochet and then pull through all three loops okay and now you're just going to continue and progress along until you have the height that you need now like I said the big tip that I have is when we get to the end and we end with on that row the single I'm sorry not the single but the slip stitch on the end keep that one loose otherwise you're going to struggle when you turn and try to get into that stitch with the half double crochet it just is going to be too tight okay so then just just pull it out kind of reverse it make it nice and loose and then and then proceed on so um so I hope you enjoy this up down stitch I want to show you really quickly before we kind of um you know stop looking here but um, I have I want to show you and highlight this stitch because I use it in a couple other places the other project that I have done with this up down stitch the half double crochet and the slip stitch is I have created a and I really like this um, this is a headband okay so uh, or an ear warmer if you want to say so going back and forth the rows this way is where I use that half double crochet and the slip stitch okay and then joined for uh, a cute headband okay um, and another place that it's actually a work in progress that I am doing is and this I need to uh, zoom out a little bit is I'm using it on an afghan okay so I, I'm not too far I've only used a couple balls of yarn but this is using 
that um, kind of that self-striping multicolor yarn that is really popular in craft stores right now. And I just love the way, and I'm going, you know, back and forth. So just a big rectangle. I've got it as wide as, you know, my afghan. I can't kind of get it all the way out here right now, but um, I'm going to continue on. I just think it's just a beautiful texture. It creates a really nice um, soft look. And, um, and I think it's going to be nice and warm. So I'm excited for this. So this is, this is what I'm currently working on. Crocheters always have work in progress, right? We're always working on maybe a couple, couple projects at a time. So, uh, so the, that, that one I'm actually, uh, 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 working on. It's really fun to work at night. So anyway, so that is the up down stitch. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like what you see here, please give my, uh, my video a like, and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, so until the next time, have a great day and uh, thanks for tuning in.